Are we witnessing the downfall of Joe Gibbs Racing? The 2022 NASCAR season has been busy for Joe Gibbs Racing. Will the offseason prove to be the turning point that brings the premier Toyota organization to its knees? What insane Joe Gibbs just did for Joe Gibbs Racing for 2023? Want to know? Then stay tuned to this video on NASCAR Zone till the end. But before we begin, subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. So, let's begin. Things haven't quite gone as expected so far during the 2022 NASCAR season for Joe Gibbs Racing. While Christopher Bell and Ty Gibbs compete in the final round of the Cup Series Championship and the final round of the Xfinity Series Championship, the team's most successful driver will be leaving for greener pastures, and he will be replaced by a driver who may already be considered the most hated competitor in the sport. Next season, Kyle Busch will compete in the Cup Series for Richard Childress Racing RCR, driving the number 8 Chevrolet. Busch won two championships in the Cup Series while driving for Joe Gibbs Racing. Gibbs is expected to take over in his stead. This year, Ty made his name known among NASCAR drivers, teams, and fans, but for all the wrong reasons. Joe Gibbs is Ty's grandfather, and Joe Gibbs is the grandson of team owner Joe Gibbs. Following confrontations with Ryan C., John Hunter Nemechek, and Sam Mayer during his first full-time season in the Xfinity Series, he began to solidify his reputation as a dirty driver. And while the season started off well for him, it ultimately cost him his job. This reputation was solidified to the fullest extent for the 20-year-old when, on the final lap at Martinsville Speedway, he passed his teammate Brandon Jones for the lead. Jones needed a victory to move on to the championship four race. There will now be one driver representing Joe Gibbs Racing, while three drivers from Junior Motorsports will compete in the championship race. Previously, there were two drivers representing Joe Gibbs Racing, but it takes more than one driver to form a team, and the events that take place right now could contribute to the demise of Joe Gibbs Racing. This was not enough for Joe Gibbs Racing, and after that, a more worse thing happened. On Sunday morning, Coy Gibbs, who served as the vice chairman of Joe Gibbs, racing for his NFL and NASCAR Hall of Fame father, passed away just a few hours after his son won the Xfinity Series championship. Joe Gibbs Sr. was inducted into both the NFL Hall of Fame and the NASCAR Hall of Fame, and he was 49. It is with great sadness that Joe Gibbs Racing shared the news that Coy Gibbs, co-owner of the team, passed away peacefully in his sleep last night and is now with the Lord. The family wanted to express their gratitude for everyone's thoughts and prayers, while also requesting privacy during this difficult time. The team said in a statement that was made public shortly before the start of the final race of the NASCAR season. What thoughts do you have right now for Joe Gibbs Racing's future? Let us know in the comments section below, and do subscribe to our channel for future updates. Joe Gibbs has suffered the loss of both of his sons. J.D. Gibbs, who was 49 years old at the time of his death from degenerative neurological disease, passed away in 2019. Coy Gibbs, who had succeeded his older brother as vice chairman of the family-run NASCAR company. Joe Gibbs Racing as an operation experienced a very bittersweet conclusion to the 2022 NASCAR Cup Series season, as did every other member of the racing fraternity. JGR is both a family-owned racing operation and one of the most successful Toyota racing teams. Throughout its history in the sport, the team has maintained a reputation for consistently finishing in the lead position. The unfortunate passing of one of the team's owners, Coy Gibbs, was announced by the organization the Sunday before the championship race for the NASCAR Cup Series, which took place in Phoenix. Coy Gibbs was the second member of the Gibbs family to become engaged with the company. He is best known as the father of Xfinity Series racer Ty Gibbs. The 49-year-old athlete was said to have gone away peacefully in his sleep the night before the championship game. Before the start of the Cup Championship race on Sunday at Phoenix Raceway, NASCAR observed a minute of silence in memory of the late Coy Gibbs. JGR's Christopher Bell was competing for the championship at the time. On pit road, prior to the start of the race, Kyle Busch who was competing in his final race after 15 years with the team, could be seen crying. Daniel Hemrick took over for Ty Gibbs in the number 23 car 
for 2311 Racing due to what the team referred to as a family situation. Gibbs was originally slated to drive the car. Jackson Gibbs, whose father J.D. Gibbs passed away, was a member of Bell's pit crew on Sunday and helped out during the race. Coy Gibbs had just finished a difficult week with his son, 20-year-old Jolie, who won the Xfinity Championship on Saturday and is shortly anticipated to be appointed Kyle Busch's replacement at JGR. Coy Gibbs had just finished a difficult week with his son. However, Ty Gibbs has received criticism for his aggressive driving this season, and just last week, he damaged a teammate, Brandon Jones, and knocked him out of the lead at Martinsville Speedway on the penultimate lap. Jones needed to win the race in order to make it into the Xfinity Championship, while if Gibbs had merely stayed in second place, JGR and Toyota would have had two cars in the championship race. Racing as a family and the bonds that exist inside the entire garage go much deeper than the competition that takes place on the track. We said goodbye to a treasured member of our family today. David Wilson, the head of Toyota Racing Development, expressed how heartbreaking it is for everyone at Toyota and TRE that Koi Gibbs has passed away. How do you think will Joe Gibbs handle JGR after his son's death? Let us know in the comments section below and do subscribe to our channel for future updates. Hanlon acknowledged that it had been a challenging week at JGR on Saturday, a short time before Ty Gibbs won his championship. After Ty Gibbs wrecked Jones, he tweeted and then added that he was referring to the culture at JGR that had been built by JD Gibbs, which he described as a close family unit. They really have to treat us like they're our brothers and our family. At JGR, they probably work together the least of any other team, and that's just the truth. He is not suggesting that it's anyone's responsibility at this point, but JD was just different because he really put his arms around everyone. He told Coy that JD was my biological father. As soon as he started watching the series, he became like his real father. Therefore, when they lose that, it alters the culture a little bit, and all they have to do is bring it back. The Gibbs brothers, Joe and Coy, spent the days after Martinsville defending their rookie driver, who received a deafening chorus of boos at both Martinsville and Phoenix after his back-to-back -back victories there. Joe Gibbs won the race at Martinsville, and Coy Gibbs won the race at Phoenix. Before beating Noah Gragson for the championship, Ty Gibbs went on his own apology tour, which was a very humiliating experience for him. Gragson, who had open hostility for Ty Gibbs for most of the Xfinity season, but congratulated him after Saturday's championship, tweeted, Prayers to the Gibbs family. Between the years 1991 and 1994, Coy Gibbs was a member of Stanford's linebacker team. Between those same years, he assisted his father, Joe Gibbs, in his second term as the head coach of the Washington NFL team. Before assisting his father with the establishment of Joe Gibbs Racing Motocross in 2007, Gibbs had a brief career in auto racing, which included stints of two years in what was then known as the NASCAR Bush Series and three in NASCAR's Truck Series. It is impossible to predict what will happen with JGR in the future, and since Trux is not signed a contract that extends beyond 2023, it is possible that Kurt Busch will not be the only high-profile driver to leave the team, which might result in an additional open seat. Joe Gibbs Racing will need to hire at least one additional full-time driver for their Xfinity Series squad. Now that Gibbs has moved to the Cup Series and Jones has moved to Junior Motorsports, no matter what, the team won't have good chemistry if things aren't going everyone's way and everyone's way isn't going everyone's way. Is this the beginning of the end for Joe Gibbs Racing, considering the loss of a great driver and the significant uncertainty that surrounds their future? What thoughts do you have regarding this? Let us know in the comments below. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed it. So, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more of our incredible videos. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.